Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. It's Double Deuce back. So today's video is going to be how to remove the Toyin uh, two or four-stroke motor flywheel. I guess there's I've had a lot of requests on this, and now I know why. So let's get to it. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Now, here's what we got. Everybody has been hitting me up to say, how'd you take the flywheel off? So, anyways, I just seen uh, Kevin's Talbot's uh, video there about him trying to get the flywheel off. And now I know why everybody's asking me. So, long story short, it's not as hard as you think. On the motor itself, on the very front, I'm going to turn this over and try to get a visual because it's a little crowded in there. On the front lower crank, okay, you will see there are two flat spots on it. I'm trying to get a visual in here, and let me get some light on it. You can barely see the crank. You'll see one flat spot right there, and there's one opposite on the other side. Now, grab that with either a wrench that fits it, or a, I used a pair of pliers just to hang on to it. Turn the motor around so the flywheel's facing you, Grab the flywheel, because it's got little knurls on the end. And if you have to use a large pair of pliers, turn it counterclockwise. And it unscrews, because inside, you'll see, there's six millimeter threads in there. I thought they were quarter 20, but they're not. They're six millimeter. And uh, they're fine, you know, your six millimeter, like fender bolts and all that jizz jazz that you see right there. Anyways, this... This is how it's held on, okay? And if you look at the back side, you will see a little machined area in there, okay? Now the crankshaft actually has a, a flat spot, or a, a stepped up boss on there with no threads. And it butts up against that, and it's held real tight. So that is how it comes off. You just Turn it counterclockwise and keep screwing it until it falls right off the motor. Now, your flywheels that they give you, um, that you buy um, from Sterling Engine, they don't screw on. They just slide on and they set against that crankshaft um, little boss there. And then you can snug down your, uh, your pilot shaft on there for your clutch. And that'll hold it tight and snug. And... Uh, so that's the simple secret for how to get the flywheel off. And uh, so anyways, I want to give Kevin a shout out because of his, you know, his build there. Uh, I see he was he was going to gear down the Revo tranny, um, you know, to make it more of a crawler, which is cool. Uh, the Revo don't really offer too many spur gears. Um, I, I think the biggest I found so far was a 50, or not a 50, but a 42 tooth. Uh, spur for the slipper clutch but I did see they had clutch bells down to 12 teeth I'm, I'm running a 14 and a 40 right now and uh, and yeah it's okay you know I reason I cut it down here because I want to run a taller tire but um, you you can if you have the room you can go bigger with this you could probably fabricate a oh uh, you know a bigger um, spur gear on there because it's only three bolts that hold it on and uh that won't be a big deal you can cut that cut it down even further and depends on which way your axles are running reverse has a lower gear ratio than forward does forward has kind of a wide ratio reverse is real low um and i found that out because i put the oh the tracks on this thing and i was out busting around the yard with it yesterday and i noticed reverse it just would pick up and fly and it had tons of low-end torque, and forward, when it shifted in the second, it bogged right down. So, anyways, I was going to do another video on the exhaust of what I'm going to do. And, anyway, I was farting around one day, and I had taken the exhaust box right off. And uh, I had just ran a piece of rubber tubing down to the other <laughs> my other exhaust I have, which is probably really restrictive. And... So all this back pressure, um, you know, I think it's going to choke the motor out 
And so anyways, I work at a body shop, so I found a aluminum AC line. So I just need a piece of the neck here to cut off 